What's up, y'all? Got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get into y'all friend. Um, CJ so cool. Uh, he is speaking about Guys. him and um royalty and you know Jalea, that situation. So, girl, let's just get into it. That's all I got for now. For the umpteen time. The hour long. Here we go speed again. Him up. Uh this time, man, everything hits differently. Everything is hitting differently right now. So I don't wanna, I don't know where to start. This is a very awkward position to be in, but going off the thumbnail, we're gonna start off that. Going off the title, we're gonna, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna stay in order. But a lot is happening in my life and around me. And I feel like um, the doors are closing and other doors are opening. And that's a good thing. But in a moment, as a human, we we tend to complain and not understand that God is working on us in our life. And what I'm realizing now is that's what's happening. Things aren't randomly happening. Things aren't just happening because other people are doing it. The devil is working through people just like God is working through me. I'm here in front of all of you guys literally being crucified by my friends and family. The mother of my child, all the way 3,000 miles away in the car I gave her, getting smacked around. CJ, who cares if you gave it a car or like? Howard, like a ping pong ball. And I'm being slandered online, like life is a joke. Guys, I want you to understand this, this is very important, and it's coming from the soul. We only got one life to live. Why are we so wrapped around everyone else and trying to bring each other down or who got more money and we missing a point. We got one life, that's it. I've helped so The shit that y'all go through, y'all created, especially on the internet. Broke people, y'all broke. Y'all so broke. He was definitely Mr. Y'all so broke. Now it's like, why are we focused on how much money someone has? So many people, I've seen so many smiles, I can't even count. I know I've been a blessing to everyone that I've come in contact with. I just have. So when I got that call yesterday, actually it was like 13 calls. When I got 13 missed calls from Nike, because my phone got to stay on do not disturb because my baby mama gave my number out. I mean like, you can't make this up. Changed. I'm missing calls, my baby mama almost burned to death in a car that I gave her. And I'm over here stressing out about who said what on my name? Who's believing what lie? Forget all of that, bruh. I almost lost my baby mama, bruh. The cool one. The cool one. I don't wish death on none of my enemies, bruh. But losing the mother of my child is like something that you can't even prepare for. So I, I don't want to get emotional at all. I just don't. But uh, some things just require that. Sometimes you just can't hold back. Nike is good. God protected her. Kamari was in school. God watched over her. But what happened yesterday, if it ain't a wake-up call for me or for Nike, it should definitely be one for y'all watching. This is not... How is it a wake-up call for us? It's a scripted movie, guys. I know it seems like I'm going through a movie like the in line between love and hate, but this is just life. Everybody living life at their own pace and taking their own battles. I'm being punched from every angle. And when I try to announce how I feel, everybody to come at me. Oh, you're weird. You're wrong. You're, you're bogus. You're not a real friend. That's why your friends left you. I never had a real friend that left me. All my real friends still in my life. All my fake ones are gone and exposed. Hello. And that's just how it's supposed to be. Hello. Am I supposed to hang with somebody forever because I introduced them to my channel? No. I don't think like that. I'm not worried about the next man. Or the next drama, because it's always new drama, right? It's always new drama. First it was, your daughter touched my daughter. Your girl touched my kid. Oh, no, 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 wait, it was you. You did it six years ago. Mm. I pray they ain't over there conjuring up some bullshit. However, that's right. It has been a lot of accusation with touch. Some allegations should never be falsely made. I mean, I can understand if you want to lie. 
I can understand if you need a video. I can understand you hate me. You want me to just fall off the face of the earth. But something should never be said. They just shouldn't. But those of you out there watching that's lost someone close to you in your life, I know you understand where I'm coming from when I say, as bad as what they're saying about me hurts, it doesn't have anything. It can't even compare to I almost lost my oldest child's mother. Do you see the thumbnail, bro? The car is folded. It actually caught on fire. My baby mother blacked out and could have burned alive. But I got to come on the internet and say, no, guys, I'm CJ so cool. I would never. Bro. It's him putting that with that. I see what you're doing. The people that's been writing me, texting me, DMing me, asking me, how could you? Bro, why did you? Leave me alone. Please get out of my life. I do not need your support. I just don't. And to those of you that have common sense, that can process an actual scenario and think to yourself and say, this ain't right, bro. I know the difference between right and wrong, good and evil, truth and lie. Where y'all at? Where's my logical thinkers? Even my enemies should be standing up against this right now, bro. I'm just saying. The one thing that CJ So Cool has going for him is that kids love him. What did my top op say? Oh, you only got kids watching you? And I love the kids. They are the future. I want to inspire them. Because half y'all adults is already lost. You're lost, bro. Imagine following royalty. You're lost. Imagine subscribing to her, watching <clears throat> her content. You're lost. You are. That lady is a witch. And you dated her. <laughs> her mom is a witch. The first day I met them, I took it as a joke, but they told me, have you ever met a witch before? No. Well, you just met two. You will never get out of our life. I guess the only way out is death because they trying to kill me. Bro, I'm not falling for it, bro. I didn't even want to make a response because some things that are understood literally doesn't have to be explained. This, this reminds me of one of them times, but I feel like God is working through me, so I came to tell you guys an important message. And this is going, this is going to help some people out there. If you are a child, a kid, a woman, a girl, a man, anybody, a boy, a teenager, preteen, young adult, if you are being touched inappropriately by anyone, I don't want you to ever go to the internet with it. I want you to go to the authorities automatically. There are numbers for these type of things. 911, 311, 411, Google, AI if you have to. I don't want you to think that what they're doing is how you're supposed to do it if it actually happens to you. Because honestly, if I ever did anything like that, I would have wanted to have been reported automatically. But for someone to say, um, it just dawned on me that I think this dude did this six years ago. Hmm. I feel like Kobe Wayne, like, can it get any more obvious? I shouldn't even have to explain anything. But let's go down the list. I dumped y'all. Literally. Dumped y'all. I said, get out of my life. Get out of my house. I don't want to see y'all in my life. Go live with your mom in her apartment. They moved on. Got a house. Everything was supposedly good. Then she kidnapped my kids. Then let's not forget, she called me three hours before I got shot in a brutal home invasion. Do y'all remember that day? Because I do. I posted a video and said, Alexi is pregnant. That night, mind you, I posted at 3, 3 p.m., right? I used to be very consistently posting at 3 p.m. anyway. My time. I live in Vegas. So, 3 p.m. I post saying Lexi is pregnant by me. It was a prank. 12 hours later, 3 a.m., I'm shot up. 12 a.m., I get a call. I answer the phone. Oh, you answer? She says. Where's the white B at? I said, she's not here. She laughed and said, oh, so she's pregnant now? I said, that was just a prank, bro. She laughed and hung up. I went back to sleep. Three hours later, I was getting shot. I came out my own mouth and said, Hey, this is what I told the police. This is what happened. See, that's what you're supposed to do. You tell the police the day it happens. If you think something happened, you tell the police. If you know something happened, you tell the police. You don't wait and say, oh, oh, I'm going to wait until he beefing with CJ on 32s. And I'm going to tell CJ on 32s to do it because I know it ain't true. So I'm not going to put it out first. But if he put it out, then I'm going to make a video because I'm falling off too myself. And I haven't posted consistently in a month. And I'm, I'm falling off too so myself. So why not on his parade since he's coming back up? I literally lifted myself out the dirt with no help. I contacted my friend. Bro, I need help. He dissed me. Now my baby mama's trying to step on me because I lifted myself up. It don't take a rocket scientist to see that some haters will go to the extreme. They just do. Why not, right? Why not? They got nothing to lose. But they do. Yeah. Handing out lawsuits is something I really don't do. But this time, nah. We ain't playing. We're not kids. This is real life. And I have a real image to obtain. But let me go back. I get shot. She kidnaps my kids. Let me go back. I get shot two days later. I almost died from an infection from the gunshot wounds. 
Guess who pulls up acting crazy? Ghetto and ratchet. <laughs> Royalty, who else? Smoking bait, pants, <coughs> cracking, whatever else. Talking about, let's fight. Let's fight. What was the allegations then? I, Since you couldn't say no. I can't argue with him on that. Like, because that's all I've been thinking the whole time. Well, why is she just not bringing this up? I can't even, I can't even disagree on that one. 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022. What the, why you pull up to fight? You had all this animosity, all this energy, all this information, all this tea. Where was it at? You got beat up. Then I had to take you to court. Where was this at in court? This would have literally been the time since you already missed all your other opportunities, right? This would have been the time to bring up this lie. I mean, seriously, it would have. You're in court. You're going against me. I'm trying to get my kids back in my life. And you think I did that. You're not making sense. You just aren't. And not only are you not making sense, but you're exposing how much of a clown you are. You're also helping me because you're exposing that I've been right this whole time. Guys, I have been surrounded by snakes for 10 years. You do not understand the pain that I go through just waking up. I am fighting battles every day, bro. Every day. And all I have is memories of me helping these people, bro. Like, that's it. I only have memories of what actually happened. The same memories y'all have, the camera footage, is what I have. That's all that... The difference is, though, he clowned him every chance he got. Like, clown, demean, you know, just rude. He's a rude-ass guy to the people. You know what I'm saying? And I, I don't see why he don't get that. Um, but karma's a bitch. I always, well, I always say, or is it, <laughs> um, cause has everybody received their karma? But anyway, y'all, I just, <sighs> let him continue. Ever freaking happen, bro. Did I cheat on royalty? Yeah, a lot. I'm glad I did too. Dang. I'm glad I did, bro. Dang. I'm so glad. More specifically, since you want to expose T, why don't you expose the real T? Why don't you tell them how you went to go get your tubes untied and you took your mom with you to Cali and you left your kids at home along with me, but cameras was all in the house. You had access to them. Why don't you tell them what I did? You won't, because you're embarrassed, right? You're a clown. Oh, he's crying. I had two thotties pull up. I wasn't even thinking about the cameras, bro. But what you won't find is me on footage going in the kid's wing. You will find me opening up my front door for two baddies and going upstairs. Damn. You will find me three hours later coming downstairs, and yeah, I, I might as well expose it, right? You will find one of them thought he's going back to my room robbing royalty. They stole a Rolex, Damn. shades, heels, money, whatever they can get. I don't remember it exactly. They stole a lot of her stuff. I go to sleep, I get woken up by a lot of text messages, screenshots, videos, calls. You're not you had two random bitches in the crib with the kids. <laughs> Bogus, I can't believe you, you're nasty. He never makes his situation sound better. <laughs> and I'm like, damn, I forgot he had cameras. But you're telling me a man that forgot he got cameras that's bringing thotties in the crib, you don't got no proof of me doing what you're claiming I did, though. You just really are the worst type of human being. I, I know you're going to go to jail. I, I can't even say I hope you go to jail. I know you're going to jail. I know it. And your boyfriend, CJ 32s, who thinks he's so up and rich, he's going to be broke as hell. I'm taking that. And guess what? I'm not flexing when I get it. I'm not, oh, I got a Richard. Oh, I got a Lamborghini. Oh. I'm investing y'all money. I only have a little glass of wine once a week. Maybe twice. I have to drink it in this cup so I don't spill it. Floor. That's the kids. Anyway. Uh, and I ain't gonna flex it. That's his MO. Yeah, for the future. Then I'm gonna dump some and so cool foundation and I'm gonna give back to the kids because y'all are crazy, bro. It'd been and when y'all did this, it just showed me that I was right. And you really can't be for crazy people. You can't argue with crazy people. You can't reason with them. How many times have I called Charlene and tried to be cordial with her, tried to be nice with her? And she's recording me, exposing me. She exposes everything I do, but forgot to expose something that is so detrimental. I agree. Well, I told you about this six the months. cameras was in the house? Now, that don't mean he can't do it where a camera is not. But. Months ago, just like I told you six months ago, 
Leave my name out of your freaking wild ass dreams, you weirdo. <laughs> you keep on coming up with something. Kamari touched my kid. This woman recorded my four year old daughter butt naked, screaming at her. Who touched you right here? Who touched you right here? Who touched you right here? My daughter crying. Ah, nobody. Nobody. I don't know. Uh, Kamari? I had to send it to my lawyer. I'm crying because I cannot believe I'm sending this to my freaking lawyer. My lawyer called me crying, bro. Saying, I am so sorry you have to deal with this. No kid should ever be interrogated by their own parent. Not even interrogated, but you're coaching my kids. You're coaching. He's absolutely correct. You're coaching the little ones. You're coaching your big ones. You're just a fuck up person. Child, I might have to go live with this. <laughs> but yeah. I cannot wait to see you I behind bars. I'm going to come visit you and tell you that you did not have to go out like that, bro. I just told you the other day when I was staying on my staycation with the twins. I said, I'm coming back stronger than ever, and I got you. I said, you got my son walking around here with bloody heels because you can't afford those shoes. They always complain about how they are in pain, how you got them stepping on nails, how you don't feed them, how you beat them, how you never around, how there's no love. And I told you, I want to fix that, bro. I know why you treating them bad. Because you feel like I don't got you. You feel like, oh, he ain't give me no money. So I told you, what I tell you straight up, I got you. Even if it's just $1,000, I'm going to start sending it to you because I don't want you to go out like that, bro. And this is the thanks I get. Literally two days later, I thought this was talking to you every freaking day. Every day. And the real tea is, because I don't, I don't want to forget anything. When she broke my daughter's arm, y'all, she texted me and said, can you make a video? Me and Shalia got a video coming next. Where is that We're at? Planning, plotting, coaching, scripting. Where is it at? But not releasing until it's It's the just right crazy time. they record everything else, but what the fuck they supposed to record? Oh, I'm like, oh shit, he has a new YouTube channel. It's the perfect time. Get off my nuts, bro. You're a weirdo. Back to the kids, man. If anybody ever, if you even think somebody doing this to somebody, report them automatically. Don't go out sad like Charlene looking crazy. If something's actually happening, and I feel sorry for y'all because it is things happening to kids out there. And now we got an influencer raining on y'all parade as if it ain't even serious, man. Don't nobody care about them kids that's actually getting touched. Don't nobody care about that. Let's just use this as clickbait. You can't use someone's actual problems as clickbait, bro. You're just not supposed to do that. Some things you're not supposed to do. Y'all already done everything else. You've done all the worst things you can do. Now, this is the worst of the worst. What's next? What is next? So you're telling me, Tanya, that even you are jumping on board with this. Hold on. 2018, I'm for sure you were always around. I don't think you possibly lived with us for all of those years. So you're telling me you're a God-fearing woman. You're always reading the Bible and always not focused on anything else because you ain't had no job. You work from home. You're telling me that this is going on right in front of your face and your daughter's face and all the kids' faces and nobody's seen or said anything. That's all I'm saying. Until I made a new channel and started beefing with CJ on 32s. I've been beefing with you longer than that. What it's raining, it like It sounds so peaceful. <laughs> Is it just me? I'm literally talking to you because I don't watch your videos. My brother called me yesterday. Did you see her? No, I didn't see. No, I don't go on the internet, bro. You know I don't. What I'm watching for? She's lying. I don't need to watch. Watching as if she got some proof of me doing something I didn't do. I don't have to watch this video, bro. Well, this will happen. I just want you to know, I'm like, hey, I don't care. But then when I started thinking about how God works, and then I said, okay, there's a story in the Bible about Job. Job was a very, very great follower of God. He literally did anything God wanted him to do, and he was blessed for it, right? And then the devil came and said, God, I can turn him. I bet you I can turn him. I'm going to convert his soul to the Satan soul. God said, do anything but kill him. Satan tried everything. It didn't work. I'm Job right now. That's what I am right now. I'm, I'm saying that to the universe. I am Job right now. I'm not asking God why. Why, God, why me? This nigga out here cooking, ain't he? No, 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 no. I know why. Because I can handle this. I've been handling everything that's came at me, y'all. I always have. I'm just saying, bro. I've always handled everything. Y'all know, y'all be seeing me. I get so many comments saying, CJ, you are so strong, bro. You go through all this and you still smile. Bro, I just can't quit. There are so many people looking up to me, and y'all know this, bro. There's so many people hating me, but that don't matter. There's way more people looking up to me. Way more people that even won't even say nothing. They won't say anything because they just watching and hoping to God that I proved them wrong and they know I'm gonna prove them wrong and they just rooting for me. And that's what it is. I'm rooting for myself because I know it's a battle, bro. It ain't easy going against clowns like this, bro. I already said I don't want to do the drama. I'm staying away from all this. And then they like, oh no, nah, he's trying to be a better person. No, bro. Bring him back. That's that crab in a barrel mentality, bro. That's why I can't live in my old city. Not saying that I have ops. I'm just saying like I don't want to be around a bunch of people that I feel like may try to pull me down. I moved to Vegas and I found the same type of people, bro. Learn. Because it ain't just them, it's you too. How to avoid people. 
learn how to say, I'm good, bro. Every time I tell the story, when people say, why you stay with her if she was already crazy when you met her? Why you stay with her if the first thing she told you to do was say, fuck Jesus Christ and you believe in Yahweh Shai and God is not real and most high is the words and don't read the Bible this way. And do Why you stay, bro? You sound crazy. I stayed because I was freaking homeless. What was I going to go to, Gary? No, I made an executive decision. This is where I'm going to be at. I'm going to just take it. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, they're crazy, but I'm going to just handle it. Yeah, she got three kids that ain't mine. And for those of you out there that are stepdads, I feel so sorry for you guys, bro. I'm done with that. I ain't dating nobody with kids. I'm not doing it, bro. How weird do you have to be? I feel to on that. To me in your life. I just met you today. You let me move in your house tomorrow. And 10 years later, you say I did this. This shit ain't making sense, bro. And I don't want this on my spirit. I don't want anyone attaching me to this. I ain't Pete Diddy and R. Kelly. Those people have thousands of accusations against them. Y'all call it the Me Too movement? They have a bunch of people saying, me too. But I've had hundreds of kids stay at my house. And I have not ever did anything inappropriate to anyone. So what the freak? I had a lady, Janine, reach out to me who always had her daughter around me, bro. She just texted me yesterday. She cannot believe they doing this to me. She heard exact words were, I cannot believe that all you've ever tried to do was help people. And this is how they coming for you. My daughter has never felt uncomfortable around you. I have never said anything negative about you. I can't believe they saying this. And I'm like, what the? F I thought I was the only one. That's why I'm saying I know people are rooting for me. I know people understand good and evil. I know people know that I ain't never did anything like that and wouldn't wish it on anybody. What more can I say, bro? My baby mama almost died yesterday, bro. I have a lot on my mind, bro. Like, everything is happening. He's definitely crashing out right now. I, mean, I expose myself. I bro. understand why. Oh, like, no one does that. This is the internet. Everybody wants you to think they're winning. No one comes out and say, guys, I'm depressed. Guys, I sold this. Guys, I sold that. Nobody do that. Jeez. I'm telling the truth with everything I do. I walk by faith, not by sight. The old me was fucked up. All I cared about was, oh, I gotta look good. Bro, now these same people are thirsty to come at me. I just seen a uh, bad man. You know his name ain't bad man. You're scam man. Scam man. Kevin. I just seen Kevin the scammer talking about why CJ so cool. Went broke. You don't know anything about me. Who said I was broke? I didn't come out and said I was broke. I exposed myself, but I didn't say I was broke. Broke is homeless. Out on the street begging with a cup and a sign. That ain't me. I'm CJ so cool. I'm Cordero James Brady. I created CJ so cool, which means I can do it again. You're who? I created you. Ooh, you was in jail. Shit. <clears throat> I swear, as soon as I be like, it ain't shit going on, bam, everything get to going on. Like, yeah. Not that I like people beefing, but what I'm saying is, he's standing up for himself. Uh, what's his name? Band man was like, don't ever say nothing else about me, nigga, or it's up, so it's about to be up. Still writing me. Bro, I just want to make my fan base legit. All of my fans are scammers and hood people. I just want to come off more legit. Can I hang with you? Sure. Why not? You ask me. I'm a helper, bro. They always get stepped on after I help someone. I'm literally a doormat. I'm a stare. Oh, shoot, we can step on him and get there. That's what I am. I literally let people use me. But I ain't a demon, bro. I know in my last video I said, oh, they woke up the demon. No, 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 no. I need to use my words wisely because I am not a demon. Satan does not have control over my spirit. I'm a saint. I'm an angel. I'm a healer, a provider. I'm nice. I took care of y'all. I know y'all say, well, them kids made you. Them kids used to be running in the background of my reaction video, so I had to say, these are these kids. This is who they are. Matter of fact, I'm up. Let's do a prank. Ooh, it worked. Let's incorporate the family. That was all me. Ain't no kid coming to me and say, let's do YouTube videos, dad. They didn't want to do it. Remember, y'all, you forced them to do those videos. Which one is it? They built me or I forced them? Like, cuz I saw the message. He said, uh, the reason I didn't say nothing six years ago, cuz he was gonna kill all of us. <laughs> Stop watching TV, bro. Y'all watch Monsters and say, oh, yeah, this is a good movie right here. We finna do that. Well, you should have killed me first like they killed their parents first. You can't lie on me while I'm still here. <laughs> you should have got rid of me first. But y'all don't remember at the police station when she told me, the next bullet coming at your head, the next bullet won't miss. How you know about the first bullet? Yeah, I know everybody know, but you making it seem like you had something to do with it. They want me dead, y'all. They want me gone. What did Julia say? I'm gonna put a hole in your career. They don't care about anything but ruining my reputation. I've never done anything to them. Believe them. And when I left them, they got exposed. We thought- No, you just calling them all kind of everything but a child of God. They weren't the special ones. Well, why they ain't so special now? Why they ain't blowing up? Why she ain't got a Richard Mille CJ on 32s? Why she ain't in a Lamborghini? Because when she was with me, she had any car she wanted and so did you. All y'all had all my cars. So what was this energy at? Stop clickbait, stop lying, stop trolling. Trying to defame me? You gonna get sued, big sued. 
Ain't no going back now. It's too late. Too many blogs then posted it. The shade room. Didn't like, ain't no going back. You gonna get sued. Big sued. Ain't no going back now. It's too late. Too many blogs then posted it. The shade room didn't like. Imagine waking up and seeing somebody that lied on you like to that point. So we're like, ain't no going back, even though you innocent. They come out today and say, it was all a lie. Royalty's in jail, Jaleel's in jail, CJ 32's in jail, CJ Soku has been cleared, and people still won't have it in the back of their mind. That's just the world we live in. And now I can't, like, what? Imagine I'm walking down the street and somebody say, oh, I know what you're doing. I'm like, bro, now I gotta beat you up. Like, I don't wanna live like that. <laughs> I ain't never had to look over my shoulder. I just said it in my other video. Now what? I got the liars of the liars coming for me, making up anything. Bro, how you gonna curate a lie for six months that something that happened six years ago? Uh, man. <clears throat> we're not messing with logical people. We're not, listen, we're not dealing with high school graduates here, okay? <laughs> if you dropped out of high school in 10th grade and you had three kids by the time you should have been in 12th grade, I'm not hearing nothing you saying. You have a Peabody brain. Your brain never developed. Your frontal lobe doesn't work. Your decision making is over. Damn. <laughs> That's how I look at you. All you're good for is smoking. <laughs> smoking in line. You're a parasite. Thank you. all are parasites. I feel sorry for Leon Nation and CJ and Day. I, I literally feel so sorry for them. I do. I'm surprised they say, we must have touched Leon. They were always gone. They were always boxing and working out and going to the restaurant and having so much fun. Like, what the freak, bro? I know for a fact that if I ever did anything, anything wrong, you would expose. Because every time I did anything, you would have burned. I agree. I agree. And that's what got me over here like... Did he? I'm not gonna lie. Make a video. When I cheated on you and told the girl, come pull up on the side of the garage. You got in a Range Rover, I bought you and made an hour video. That's the real you. I want y'all to remember, this is the person that stole my kids. This is the person that told the court, oh, he needs supervised supervision. He can't be getting my kids without police around. <clears throat> Why? Oh, uh, because he's not a good person and his house got shot up and he had a gun to his head one day, sent me a picture and said he was gonna kill himself. Why not tell them the biggest lie you got? Why not? Why not then? Why now? What's changed since six years ago? Wait, I got an even better one. What's changed since my kids were born four years ago? Does your brain work? I went to IVF to have a son. That's it. Her idea, I think we should have a son. I said, you can't get pregnant. Yeah, but I've been doing my research. We can go to IVF and it only costs 40,000 and... Why not? Let's do it. What was this? Oh, I can never have a kid with you. You touched my kid. What was this energy at? Why did you persuade me to have kids with you so that you can continue ruining my life even after we broke up? That's all this was, was a setup. I feel for it. Let's have kids, we'll get more money. We had kids and lost money. Made less money. My energy was different. I was with my kids all the time, woke all night. All my videos turned to Wait, me. Say that again. Why did you persuade me to have kids with you so that you can continue ruining my life even after we broke up? That's all this was, was a setup. I feel for it. Let's have kids, we'll get more money. We had kids and lost money. Made oh. less money. My energy was different. I was with my kids all the time, woke all night. All my videos turned to baby videos. Boo -boo -ga -ga. Nobody didn't want to see that. She finessed me. But I ain't even done with the story. Nigga, no. You agreed. What? You agreed. We get to the doctor. The doctor's like, well, she been having miscarriages. I think it's best y'all have two kids. Most of your sperm, the strong ones anyway, they were females. I think you guys should have a boy and a girl. That's perfect. And I'm like, uh-uh. No. We don't need two kids. We, I got a daughter. She got two. We got three daughters. Please. No, I think you should do this because if the baby doesn't make it, then there's no refund. Yeah, come on, CJ, let's do it. Let's have two kids. Please, CJ. I'm arguing with her in the lady's office. I wish I could go to that doctor's office right now and ask that Chinese lady. Do you remember this day? Do you remember me yelling at her saying, I do not want to have kids with you? How come it wasn't the other way around? How come she wasn't telling me she didn't want to have kids with me? Well, that's because she, she didn't know, CJ. She begged me to have kids with me, y'all. Begged me. Literally begged me. This is, this is a shame because now my kids got to grow up and see all of this. Dad, mom, what was this in 2024? Y'all, that was a bad year. That's the year Trump got shot, almost assassinated multiple times. That was a weird dimension right there. That was a weird time frame. I don't know what the freak was going on. Everything was off. Y'all other sister Kamari, her mom almost died that year. Like, it's a bad year, bro. It just is. Everything bad that happens has a reason. Like I said earlier, God know what he be doing. So when Nike car got smacked by What's a semi truck up, and then went across the highway and got smacked again, that was a blessing in disguise. Because now what? I'ma sue the truck company. I'ma sue CJ on 32s. I'ma sue Life of Royalty. I'ma sue all of y'all. And everybody online collectively coming at me, you're broke, you're broke, you fell off. I can see millions in the future. What do you got coming? <laughs> Your ops are probably unsuable. My ops claim he got $2 million saved. I want that. Let me get that. 
Yeah. You said my name, you lied on me, you put out false information for no reason just because you was mad at me? Oh, I'm gonna sue the Julian too. I'm gonna sue him too. You went behind your client's back and disclosed personal information to someone that envies me and then he brought it to the internet? Damn. This nigga cooking. To kind of defame me? What do you think that is, bro? That's illegal. It's highly illegal. So, yeah, like I said, for all of y'all claiming, he broke, he sold all his jewelry, he doesn't have anything left, he even sold his channel. You did. Selling a channel is the same as selling a hotel. It's the same as selling a business. It's the same as building something and saying, I've already profited from this, this was my dream, I saw it go from zero to everything. Now I want to sell it and start over. Difference is you owe them $3 million. Selling it, you supposed to get the cash, get the fuck. You borrowed. That's what I did. <sighs> Anyone that can't comprehend that is just doesn't have a business brain. That's it. I'm not mad at you. You don't have a business brain. No. Everything ain't for everybody. No. But just like I sold a percentage of my royalties on CJ So Cool, I can build another channel, another one, another one, another one. Oh my God. And y'all can too. Nobody ain't say, YouTube definitely didn't say, you only got one channel. No, they ain't say that. Just like no one said, you can only buy one property and you can only start one business. Do what you want to do. This is your life. It is, but this is my life technically. But you know what I'm saying. But speaking back on Nike, she is in good hands. She's still with her family in Indiana. The car, definitely totaled. Definitely totaled. But it's cool because it's a blessing, right? That's one less bill. I was paying that bill. I love paying for the car. I bought it for D-Lo. D-Lo quit. I let him keep it for a couple more months. I gave him the option to put it in his name or giving it back. He couldn't afford it, he gave it back. I continue paying the car notes as I always have. It didn't get repossessed. Nike just got smacked around. Now my car's gonna be paid off. I'm gonna get Nike another car. That's a blessing. It's a blessing. Everything that happens to me is a blessing. Even the most weirdest messed up things are blessings in disguise. Unless of course you shift your energy and you start acting ungrateful and questioning God and that's when everything falls apart. Learn from me. And do what I said. Don't let nothing like this be true and you don't tell nobody. Because you're in the wrong. If A touched B and C saw it and C didn't tell D, then C and A in trouble. You see what I'm saying? So what are you doing? They saying they didn't you're see weird. it. You're basically saying, I don't care about my own life. I don't really care about my kids because this is hard for me because I'm a single mother now. My first baby daddy never gave me a penny. My second baby daddy beat me in court. I can see you crashing right now. You're trying to crash out. She's on that, I'm good with going to jail, but I want him to go to jail. Nah, I'll go visit you in jail, but you ain't taking me down with you. It's not happening. I'm innocent and I will remain innocent. And every lie you tell on me or any more lies you can think of, they will not hurt me in any way. They gonna just hurt you. Because if, if any of this was true, I would have hoped to God that you would have told the authorities. Talking about there's an open investigation since when? Where? And no police came to my house except when I called them and told them that you were fabricating this lie six months ago. So you didn't know that I did that already. When you told me, oh, yeah, um, yeah, your daughter touched my daughter, your girl touched my daughter, and yeah, as a matter of fact, I think you even touched my daughter. I told the police, I said, hey, bro, I gotta call y'all. This girl has lost her freaking mind. What is it, sir? Look at these messages. We need a paper trail. I can't, uh-uh. No, they, they trying way too hard. I didn't think it would take you six months to do this, but it did, which is so weird. Because you knew this is not gonna work. This lie is not gonna be believable, bruh. It's just not. She knew that, but then she said, well, maybe it'll be believable coming from CJ on 32s. He's a little bit more credible than me, right? He got fans, right? Like, come on, man. A black person can see through that. CJ on 32s hated me, and why did he hate me? Because I exposed that he was a fake friend that I helped out. I helped this man become somebody. I didn't ask him for anything, and he literally abandoned me and ditched me. Remember when I was giving away So Cool Chains? He got one. Do y'all know I never ever heard a thing from this man about, hey CJ, I wanna just give you anything just to show my appreciation. Here's your little chain. Hey, here's your chain back that you gave me, anything. It's like now that CJ, I guess don't have no money. I don't know, money is what doing whatever money is doing. He kinda wants, you know, he's, it's like a cry for help that he's not getting from the people he helped and he feels some type of way. Is what well, I'm I getting. do good for you, you do good for me. Why does it have to be CJ so cool? You have to do good because you're the one that was rich first. It don't matter. Where's the love? When is it going to be reciprocated? This man literally used and abused me, like I said. And then tried to lie on me to shit on me. Literally. It don't get no worse than that. That man is a weirdo. You take your girls from your... Bro, what? You take Marty girl. Marty will have a girl that he likes and you will take her and sleep with her. This is the type of man you are. You're 50, but you... met. How old is your youngest baby mama? 18, 19? Hey, that's your lifestyle, bro. He's you're the 50? one that's in jail playing with the booties. You're the one being touched. So, of course, you say, oh, yeah, I gotta say this. 
That's CJ on 32's lifestyle. That ain't got nothing to do with CJ so cool. Don't get us confused, royalty. So what the freak is y'all lying on me for? I don't know, but it stops today. It just do. I don't care who believe y'all, who on y'all side. It doesn't matter. The truth is in me. You can't win against me, bro. No lie you tell will be grown me. Even if the fans say I'm not watching no more just because eh, he could have did it. It's possibly true. I don't know. I don't know who started. I don't care. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep smiling. I'm going to keep living. I'm going to keep taking care of my people. My kids are still going to be good. When they come over here, their feet ain't going to be bleeding. When they come over here, they ain't going to be hungry. Talk about they were getting beat on and yanked around. Y'all so pressed about a video of Lexi taking day at a time out, but y'all don't know. They own mama do that to them every day, they say. They tell me. They show me. They give me examples of how they get treated over there. And do I come out and expose anybody? No. You know why? Because that's their household. And I'm not trying to shit on them. How many times y'all said, see, they take that YouTube from her, bro. She's doing too much. Take her channel. And I said, I don't want to take food out of my kids' mouth. That's the only way she feed my kids. She barely feed my kids. And I'm still being nice. She's rude as hell to my kids and to me. You know what my kids say to her on FaceTime when they with me? I don't like you, mommy. I hate you. And then she hangs up. And then I got to text her. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't like when they talk like that. Like, bro, the kids know. If the kids know, you know kids. They, they like dogs. They just sense the energy. They just know. Come on, bro. All these times on camera, this kid ain't never been uncomfortable on camera around me. Ain't never been none of that. Ain't never been none of that. I still got the video when I told them to get out of my house and dump them. I still got the video. Why they weren't saying that in the video? She was recording too. Dump them is crazy. It just don't add up. It don't make sense, bro. It just don't. It don't. I kicked them out because Jaleel was acting too grown. And guess what she was getting it from? Her mom. Because every time me and Leon would go out and work out, go to boxing, go out to eat and have fun, she would be coaching her daughter. Yeah, they probably out cheating. He ain't shit. And you don't got to listen to him. You don't got to respect him. Don't cheating with Leon? That's his house. Let him wash his own dishes. Don't clean up. I'm coming home. The house getting dirtier and dirtier. I'm like, damn. When y'all gonna clean up? This ain't the project. You know what Jaleel told me? This ain't the project. This our house. You wouldn't have nothing without us in your videos. I said, oh, no. Open that door. I said, excuse me, royalty, your kid. Can you check her, please? You check her. I said, it's not my kid. Can you check her, please? What did she do that was so bad anyway? Like, I tell her and she just keeps smoking like she don't even hear me. I say, you know what? Get out. All yeah, there's no way I'll be able to do that right now. I'm so sorry, bro. This is exactly what happened. Leon, I'm so sorry, bro. You know I love you, dog. You know I don't want to do this, but I can't do this no more. I can't. I refuse to be disrespected in the house by a kid that I raised. Your own dad wasn't there for you. Never gave you anything. Facts. Ever. Your own grandma never gave you anything. Anything y'all ever got came from me. All of y'all. Every last one of y'all. I could have took all the money and gave it to myself. I literally could. But I gave everybody everything just for them to turn on me when I stopped. Oh, well, he doesn't do anything for us anymore, so what? We don't want him to have any money. He's not giving it to us. Damn, bro. Is y'all that spiteful? You big man. Let me move on with my life. I done already had a whole relationship for two and a half years, bro. A whole relationship. But now that she can see I'm on a new way. See, when I was with Lexi, I wasn't in the right mindset. That's why I wasn't really, I mean, I was at first, but I wasn't really being productive, right? Y'all know this. Now, they seen the creativity is back, the energy is back, my smile is back, my joy is back. They said, nah, uh-uh, come back. They live in misery. Imagine taking your three kids out of school. They get no education no more. They just at home with you all the time. You move from state to state, you file bankruptcy, you lose your car and repo, you're going through all this stuff. You lose the court battle. You live in misery. That's why you got that big tattoo on your face. You're miserable. That's why you date the crackhead. You're miserable. No one wants you. A hey. crackhead, of course, will accept you. But other than that, you have no value. You have five kids, no high school diploma, no college experience, no trade, no career, no life. You should have been a boxer or a UFC fighter or something. At least then you can get paid because you're like, bro, on a meter from 10 to 1,000, you're like negative one. You don't even belong on this earth. Like, you're wasting. That nigga says she don't even belong here. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh my God. That nigga CJ said, you don't even belong on earth. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Hold on. Give me a second. I need to. No life. You should have been a boxer or a UFC fighter or something. At least then you can get paid. Because you're like, bro, on a meter from 10 to 1,000, you're like negative one. You don't even belong on this earth. Like, you're wasting. 
in space and oxygen. We don't care about you. Damn. <laughs> he hate her. <laughs> this thing is CJ said, you don't belong on this earth. Nigga. Get out. <laughs> Like, it's not funny, but damn. I just really didn't expect him to, like, go crazy like that. Just do something with yourself already, bro. Please. Oh, my God. Because your brain has failed you. Damn. Your heart that's so heavy, it has fallen from your chest. You don't have a heart anymore. I'm the father of your twins, you idiot. <laughs> I would never do anything like that. That's why you stayed with me for nine years. That's why we have kids. That's why you... You had stayed with her at first. CJ, stop forgetting that part. You was broke. I hate that he forget that. Don't leave me alone. Oh, God. Nike told him, said, don't do the video, baby daddy. I said, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> no. I'm not letting people tarnish my legacy, bruh. All I have is my name. That's it. I sold everything. All I have is myself. You're not going to let me think that I can't defend myself because people always say, well, you're... You're being emotional, CJ. It's your fault. You, you never take accountability, CJ. I don't care. You don't. I don't have to take accountability for none of that. I can be emotional all I want. Damn. I'm the only one going through this. If anybody ever went through this, I'm guaranteeing they offing themselves because it's too much. It's too much, bro. Every time I turn around, it's you did this, you did that. Ah, 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 ah. But when I say the good things, I just try to remind myself, no, 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 I helped this person out. I brought this person up. And this person brought up 10 more people, which is because I brought him up. And I brought her and her family up. And they brought other people. I try to tell y'all the good. I'm trying to remind y'all, but y'all stuck on, no, I think you're emotional, and you always want to take credit for something, and he was going to be good anyway because he's a scammer, and it doesn't really matter. Nah, bro. And then the D-Lo situation, he didn't expose that everybody should know by now. D-Lo is the worst trader in history. D-Lo lied to me, manipulated me. He told me he had my best interests. He told me I can trust in him. He put money in Robin Hood and showed me a profit. I said, do it for me. He did a profit the first time. I gave away more. I said, wow, there's a hundred thousand, D-Lo. You ain't never had that. Work with it. Two days later, it was gone. How, D-Lo? How? Did you transfer it to yourself? How did you lose a hundred bands in two days, bro? You're the professional, right? You got all the graphs and the analytics and you know what's supposed to happen and da da da. You know what he told me? <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen that way. According to the analytics and the data, dude, you finesse me. You get added to the list of finessers. Damn. I mean, I blame you because why the hell would you put a hundred thousand on his Robin Hood account. It better have been on your account. And if it was, you would be able to see what happened. Mm. Hello. Did you stop going to work? Every time I call you, you use your daughter as an excuse. I can't, bro. Kennedy. Uh, yeah, Kennedy, bro. I can't even go to work today, bro. So what did I do? I didn't fire you. I did not fire you. I continue to pay you and your car note and your car insurance and your registration. Every year has to be paid. I was doing that. What did I do? I hired someone to hang my TVs that you didn't want to hang so my kids can watch TV in the mansion and we just got painted. What did I do? I hired someone to build everything that he you- He kept talking shit about him. I wouldn't have, I would have been, um, uh, X'd him out. You didn't want to build, bro. Then you told me when I hired an editor to edit my videos. Well, CJ, technically every job I did for you, you found somebody else to do. Hell yeah, I did. You wasn't working. What do you think I'm gonna do? I'm a businessman. I don't rely on you. You rely on me. Because I didn't expose you. People say, oh, you wrong. That was your closest friend. No, he was. He was my closest, envious per. No, he wasn't. You know, it was him collectively. And then everybody y'all know me to put on camera only was around me because of my camera. Hello, I was already successful before I knew any of them. They all knew who I was and I didn't know who they were. That's how it is in this world. When you're somebody, leeches will come out of everywhere. The good people, they're not going to approach you because they good. They don't need you. It's the demons. It's the bad people. It's the soulless people that's going to try to latch on to your good. That's what happened. So, yeah, he took 100K and blew it. I didn't say he put it in his pocket. I don't know what he did with it. Honestly, I don't know. It's gone. I don't got it. There was no profit. So, what do y'all expect from me? And it's like, there's so many stories. It's a possibility for you just to lose. But the list goes on. I've been trying to hold in because I don't need to be in those in drama. He's talking about your page is drama based. No, it ain't. I never had drama on my page until when? So she went to Funny Mike House and then I started dissing her. And then after that, we got back together. That's a lie. That's a lie. When y'all kept breaking up with each other, and she moved out. That's when the drama started. When y'all first broke up and she moved out. He's lying. Do y'all remember what happened? The U-Haul shit. When I first met Kevin, the scam man, we went to Miami. Do y'all not remember her going live with her kids moving out? 
There has never been a time where I've done anything that she didn't expose me instantly. She literally went live and said, since he moving single, we moving out. I'm calling her like, hey, where you going? I love you. I'm not even cheating. I'm literally on live. I'm on a yacht with all men. I'm live. You can see what I'm doing. Nah, you got me dancing. I'm going to fuck my couch. You're just my biggest op that I've ever had connected to me, bro. That's all you is. All of y'all. Now I don't have y'all connected to me anymore. And this time when I win, I don't have to celebrate with y'all. Imagine celebrating with snakes. Imagine being able to see the future and saying, oh, wow. You gonna do that? No way you're gonna stoop that low, bro. I wish I could tell the future, because y'all would never even met them. But I wasn't blessed with that talent. But I'm not gonna complain, God. Please don't take it that way. I love my life. I love everything I've been capable of doing. And I'm gonna keep saying it. If anybody out there is getting touched inappropriately by anybody, by a kid, by an adult, by your parents, by your step parents, tell on them. Go to hey. the police. Use your cell phone. You on TikTok, get off TikTok. You on Instagram, get off. Call the police right now. That's what you're supposed to do. It's just that simple. I would not want anyone out there thinking that, oh, well, I can't tell anyone because he might kill me. Ain't nobody gonna kill you. Don't think like that. That's fake. That's movie talk. And that's just movie talk. Imagine me saying, Nah, some will. Yeah. I'm gonna kill all of y'all if y'all say something. It's all of y'all against me and y'all scared that I'm gonna kill y'all, but I've never committed murder in my life. I haven't even so much as committed a crime. But this is the story y'all fabricated. They didn't do too much thinking. It's like they was in the heat of the moment. I did CJ on 32s, apparently. They didn't like it, and they just, boom, came up with it. It's time right now. We got you. Let's go. Go time. Hmm. Six months, this lab been getting curated. It's time to shove it in their faces. The weirdest couple ever. CJ on 32s and Life with Royalty are definitely behind the scenes doing everything I said they was doing. They are. They have already been doing it, bro. They've been doing it. I told y'all, this type of world we live in, well, you can't second guess anything. You can't just say, nah, he wouldn't do that. That's your bro. No, yes, he would, bro. Yes, he did, bro. He ain't my bro, and she ain't my ex. She's the mother of my twins, and I wish I could take it back. <laughs> that was my sperm and my money. I could have chosen any woman to be my surrogate. Anybody. I wish I did. Be mindful of who you have kids with. And I know it's a lot of people that don't got high school diplomas, and now they're going to hate me because I just, you know, they're going to be like, well, oh, thank you. I don't got a diploma either. I don't mean it like that. I'm just speaking the facts. As long as y'all ain't out there making up lies and trying to drag people down and being as ghetto as possible, then I'm not talking to you. If the shoe don't fit, then please don't wear it. But I've been antagonized for like three days straight. I've been getting calls, texts, comments. It hurts to see people that looked up to me thinking that I would ever do such a thing knowing that I wouldn't. Come on, bro. So back to my baby mama. I need y'all to pray for her. No. I believe him. I feel like royalty so vindictive, she would have been saying something. Hell, Jalea too. Jalea is, uh, what, 17, about to, be on eight, about to be 18 now? She's just as vindictive. Sorry, not sorry, y'all. So, and that mama, I mean, come on, she, she, is it in my blood? It's in her blood. So, I kind of believe him. I'm not being insensitive to Julia in the event this happened. I pray it didn't. But from listening to royalty and listening to him, I believe him. Nike, that is. I need y'all to pray for her. Because that was so scary for her. I've never seen, I've never seen her cry. That was the first time. And it wasn't like a cry. It was like one of those where you can't get the words out cry. Like, you know, the <laughs> like that. Like she almost died. Then I seen the car pieces. I'm like, wow, a semi truck? Damn. Yeah, that's God crazy. Is good. Some of y'all might look at it and say, aha, you lost your car. No, that's not how this works. That car is now officially paid for all the way paid off. I can go in and get her a new car. I never told y'all I was B-R-O-K-E. I never said that word. I just told you. And said, I sold 70% of my channel for 2.2 million for the second time. The first time was 1.7, do the math, that's 3.9. I never lost. I sold a channel I made 15 M's off for 4 million technically. When did I lose? The only time I lost is because I didn't reinvest in a new channel. Instead, I reinvested back and see this so cool, and I only received 30% from it, which means I gave money away. That's all. That's the only thing. And it ain't even that I gave money away. My views didn't go crazy. If my views was not tainted by the situation for my baby mama, because I'm going to court, we're battling, we're arguing, she got the goons jumping out, I got to pull out guns. If I wasn't going through all of that, my views would have been in the millions and then everything would have been good. But it was a blessing in disguise. I did not True. I need to focus on CD So Cool no more. I needed to create a new channel and leave all the old memories in the past. Y'all do realize she just cussed me out the other day. Stop freaking posting us on your Snapchat. Why are you watching my Snapchat? How does this affect you? I'm posting videos that are already public, that are already recorded from years ago. How does this affect you? I don't want you making money off me. Oh, you don't want me making money. That's crazy. And yeah, so now, so he's able to put his videos on Snapchat. He good. That's crazy. He's making a bag. And they better be going on Facebook. So that's what this is all about, money. It's all about money. You willing to throw your daughter under the bus, yourself under the bus, your mom under the bus, me under the bus, CJ on 32's under the bus for some money? Oh no, because you don't want me to have it. 
Imagine being that spiteful that you will do anything to keep someone from making money. Money is printed every day. That's enough for everyone. You don't have to hate on me that bad, bro. I'm not hating on TJ 32s, but I'm gonna cover what he got because he came from my reputation. You see, that's how you move. Learn from me. If somebody got something to say about you online, you don't gotta clap back. You come correct. You definitely come correct. Come how I'm coming. But as it goes, I know what's gonna be said in comments. He's so arrogant. He's deceased that he doesn't take accountability. I don't believe him. It is what it is. It's 2024. Most of y'all out there are weirdos anyway. Leaving comments, negative ones. Imagine. I'm gonna go watch this video. Ugh, I don't like it. Let me comment something bad. Just leave. If you don't like it, if you watched it already, just be on about today. Because wasting time doing this with your fingers is the worst thing you could do if you don't like somebody. You're giving me something. A comment, you already gave me the view, but now you're adding to my analytics. Imagine, I don't care if you say something bad. It, does it hurt me? Yeah, but does it hurt you too? No, they like that. They like, oh, somebody commented and gave a view? We need to recommend this to everybody then. You helping me out, idiot. But I don't want to get too deep into this because then I'm just going start name calling and getting mad and getting irritated and I'll have no energy for this. It's so early in the morning right now. It is so early right now. But I had to do this because I didn't, I didn't do it yesterday. I didn't do it the day before. Because I was like, you know what? Last time TJ on the said, if you say one more thing, I'm going to expose you. And I said one more thing. Imagine if I didn't say anything. What, you just would have not said anything? <laughs> like, what the fuck? They are all so dumb. CJ, you just told your camera, I was going to pull up on bro and take him to the club, to the strip club, to go gamble. But he said something else. You thought I was a, a predator, but you was going to take me out? But you had this information the whole time? Just begged me not to say nothing so you didn't have to say nothing? You were an idiot, bro. Did you graduate from high school? Because <laughs> you don't have a brain either. We already know you can't count. Just because you make money don't mean anything. Oh. I JJ Fish put out a song that had almost a billion views. That don't mean he's super talented. <laughs> Come on, bro. Y'all are so done. You're done. You're done. Actually, look, what they would have been saying, I don't want nobody to watch them boycott their videos. I'm not even saying that. I'm going to just say this. If you going to support someone like that, you're the predator. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Damn. You want to support someone? Support the one person that everybody coming for at the same time. I feel like Leonidas the 300 right now, bro. Man's got a whole army coming after me and my little, you know what I'm saying? It's just me. I'm coming like it's 300 to me, but it's just me. I'm taking all the blows, but it's literally just me. My little brother said, bro, I, I live with you since March 2018 through October. My daughter, my oldest night, she was always over there. We didn't even see our kids. She lived with y'all so much. We lived in the guest house. She lived with y'all. This ain't never happened, bro. My little brother said he gonna make a video. I said, see, there go God right there. I don't even gotta make a response. But then when he said he was, I was like, let me, you know what I'm saying? I don't let people fight my battles. I got it too. You, you, you can do a video because I appreciate that. Because honesty is the only thing I care about. That's the only thing that should be on YouTube. Honesty. We shouldn't be lying and fabricating stories to try to get clicks. Things that gonna haunt people for the rest of their lives. Come on, man. Y'all need to delete y'all videos. Delete y'all life. Because <laughs> I'm coming for you. And I'm so serious. And there's so much evidence. Like, where's y'all's evidence? Because I got all the evidence. I got it. I don't know, man. Yeah. Somebody messed up, but it ain't me. All the evidence, I got to see it. Got the, all that. Prayers for Nike. Hashtag pray for Nike. Hashtag God got us. We good, man. I'm not worried. Y'all ain't ever known me to be worried. I told y'all the story exactly how I happened. When they broke in my house, I wasn't scared, crying, and worried. I fought for my life like I'm doing now. They're trying to kill me, right? I'm fighting for my life. They don't got guns, but they blazing right now. They are. They're coming for me like guns blazing. I've been in this situation before. I've been in a fire pit. I've been in the lion's den. I've been in the whale's mouth. I'm a survivor. I'm a doer. I'm a great guy. I will overcome these allegations. These allegations are all lies, fabricated lies. Flow like, bro. <laughs> Every time I get to sit down right here, Flow be in her mind like, damn, man, something ain't right, dad. Sad. <laughs> I oh, know, baby. We shouldn't have to do this every other day, huh? We should just be at the party. One, one, one in the chat. That's my baby. Y'all crazy, man. <laughs> I've always done right by people. I've always done the right things, man. And I know some of y'all think you always say the right thing. That's why I don't trust you. I can only say what I know, baby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for always being right. I'm sorry I knew all these people were finessers and scammers. I'm sorry I knew they was all clout chasers. I'm sorry I knew they would do something like this one day. I'm sorry for being right. But what I'm not going to do is drive me crazy. You're not. I can't wait to get Kamari out here. I need to get my daughter out here, bruh. Because y'all do realize that I moved my daughter back home because they kept lying on her. Every time I went to pick up my kids, they got my daughter name in their mouth. Jalea, royalty. Jalea was so close to my daughter in the car. Kamari just sitting in the passenger seat. Jalea reaching out in the car. I damn near had to pull the gun. Like, what are you doing? Back the freak up, bruh. You're not going to touch my kid. That's how I am about my kid. I don't know about y'all weirdos. 
But I'll up on you, bro. I'll heal. You did what to my kid? Nigga, what? Like, bro, so, I mean, to each his own, bro. Believe what you want, but don't believe that, because it's crazy. But I, I can't just, I can't keep sitting here talking about it, because the more I talk, the madder I get. And I don't want to be mad on camera, because it's a drama-free zone. I'm sorry y'all had to see this again. I'm sorry y'all got to keep seeing me like this. This time, honest to God, it's not my fault. It's not. <laughs> I didn't bring it up. I mean, yeah, I guess I did, because like I said, it's just you, said you say one more thing. So technically, I could have just said, well, I'm not going to say anything. And I was like, this time. Imagine I didn't fault. make another video. He would have flew out here. We would have been holding hands in the club, right? You're a weirdo, bro. You can never be around me. Even if you're in my city, you can never see me, bro. You know what it is. You know what I text you, bro. Your little scary what? Bro, I'm going to tell you this before I end this video. Anybody that act tough, always want to be tough on camera, they're weak, scared, pathetic, and pitiful. Anybody that walk up on a random stranger that's drunk and that just crashed a car because they're drunk and they punch them trying to show out, they're weak. They're weak. I ain't never bullied nobody in my life, but I've always protected myself and ain't ever got beat up. Not once. You hit me, I'm breaking your jaw. You touch me, I'm... Bro, that's just how I go. That's how it's supposed to be, right? Everybody protects themselves. As a kid on up, I teach CJ all the time. When they walk up on him and punch him because she got that energy from her mom, I say, CJ, don't let nobody touch you. Got and that he... energy from her mom. It's crazy. He crying. I be like... Nah, he about to be out here beating women. CJ, push her. Don't let her do that. If she walk up to you like this, just push her. I'm not going to always be there for you, bro. I tell him this. I teach my kids. I know y'all say, you don't teach your kids anything. Yes, I do. I teach my kids, bro. Because there's real life scenarios that they need to know about that I know their mama ain't teaching them. I know their siblings, their older siblings are over there being mean, rough, cussing at them. That's how they come over here with all that animosity. Because they're not being raised by adults over there. They're being raised by kids. By kids. The same kids that I said I couldn't deal with because they were getting too old. Not Leon. Not even Nation. They were just two little perfect angels. Nation was always the funniest. I always loved to be around her. Leon was always my son. He was the coolest. I like Leon. And Jaleah too. Everybody knew that Jaleah was definitely the top kid in the family. Everybody liked Jaleah. She had the most fans, most views. If a video said Jaleah had her, most everything. Everywhere. Every time. I've always did good by all, 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 all of the kids. All of them. Six kids. Plus all their friends. Plus all the family. Everybody benefited off me. Everybody ate. But ain't nobody came to me and said, I think you're this, I think you're that. Until yesterday. This video is officially over, man. I don't have anything else to say. We gonna get a new car for Nike. Y'all gonna see the video. But right now we got some lawsuits to hand out. We're not doing season to season. We just, we just moving correctly. <laughs> yeah, we, we don't want to see y'all. No, 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 no. We want you to continue putting out all these false allegations. Keep doing it. The more you do it, the more money I'm gonna take. Thank you. I appreciate that, Playboy. You could have just gave me some on the low low, but now I gotta take everything in front of everybody. That's how it's gonna be. That's the end of this story. I'm, you know how I always say, I wish I could see the future. I'm telling you right now, the future is I'm taking everything they got and they're riding under the jail. You wanna bring false allegations out on me? I ain't never lost in court. I'm not going to lose in court. Good luck. Peace. He ain't say nothing about suing, um, What's her name? I'm trying to put up this chat, her video. He ain't say nothing about uh, suing Batman Kevo, but well, Batman didn't come out and say that, though. So, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below, girl. That's all I got. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah, yeah.